Let's go over double declining balance method, which is a form of depreciation for fixed assets. It's also considered an accelerated method of depreciation. Here's our example for Blackstar Corporation, which purchased equipment for 410,000. I left out that the salvage value or residual value is 10,000. In this problem, we'll calculate depreciation expense, go over the journal entries, and finally the net book value of the asset after the third year. So first of all, let's go over all the formulas that's going to be required to be able to calculate the depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation to record the journal entries and also figure out the net book value. Now the first step is to figure out what the straight line rate would be. In other words, if this equipment was uh, being depreciated using the straight line method, what the rate would be. It's really easy to do that because you just have to put one over the useful life in years. For example, if the asset had a useful life of five years, it'd be one over five. Or if the asset had a useful life of 20 years, it'd be one over 20. For the second step, after you get step one, you want to double the straight line rate and thus double declining uh, balance method. So you're going to go one, over the useful life in years. As soon as you get that, that fraction, you're going to multiply that by 2. The third step is actually the step where we calculate the depreciation expense. So here's your depreciation expense, and you want to use this following formula. It's going to be cost whatever the cost of the asset was, minus the accumulated depreciation. Notice we don't consider uh, residual or salvage value for this formula, unlike the other forms of depreciation, times the double declining balance rate, which is the rate that you calculated in step two. Now we can calculate the depreciation expense for each year. What you want to do is do steps one and two, and then during step three, we can calculate the depreciation expense for all three years. For step one, since the asset had a 10 year life, it would be one over 10 or 0.10. Now in step two, you wanna double the straight line rate in step one to make it a double declining balance rate. So it's 0.10 times two equals 0.20. Now in step three, here we'll calculate all three years of depreciation uh, per the problem's requirement. So year one, it's your cost of for, uh, 410,000 minus zero. Now this step is very important because in year one, since it's a brand new asset, you do not have any accumulated depreciation. So that will always be zero in year one. You'll multiply that by your double declining balance rate of 0.20 and you should get a depreciation expense of 82,000. Let's do year two. Year two, your cost doesn't change, so it's 410,000. Now we have accumulated depreciation of 82,000 times still 0.2. That double declining balance rate will not change. Here we will get 65,600. Now let's go to year three. Year three, again, the cost does not change. It's still 410,000. But be careful here. Do not just subtract 65,600 from the previous year. You gotta add both the 82,000 and the 65,600 because thus far that is your accumulated or total accumulated depreciation. You're still gonna multiply by 0.2. That will give us $52,480 for the third year. There, you have your depreciation expense for all three years. Now we can do the journal entries. The journal entries are pretty simple because in each year you'll always have the same debit and credit, assuming you keep the asset. So the debit is depreciation expense. That's for $82,000. And then your credit is going to be accumulated depreciation, which is a contra asset which brings down your fixed asset, in this case, equipment. That's also going to be for $82,000.
I'm just going to fast forward through year two and year three because it's the same debit account and the same credit account. And we've already uh, computed the amounts for years two and three. Now that we're done with the journal entries, we can now calculate the net book value. The net book value can be found on your balance sheet in this particular problem and ask for the net book value after three years. So on your balance sheet under property, plant, and equipment, you'll find your equipment account. In this case, our equipment uh, cost us 410000 And right underneath it is going to be your contra asset, which is the accumulated uh, depreciation account. Because it's a contra asset, it will bring down the equipment value, um, but we have that on a separate line. The accumulated depreciation is what you recorded on the journal entries. It's that 82000 65600 and the $52,480 combined. That will give us $200,080. When you take the difference between the $410,000 and the $280,000, that will give you your net book value on the balance sheet. In this case, it's $209,920.